Hey, hey, hey guys, it's Old Man G here, back again with another video for Red Devil Studio and with breaking, breaking news, it has been agreed, it has been officially agreed, Manchester United have agreed a transfer fee of £80 million for Harry Maguire, that's £80 million for Harry Maguire, this has been reported by The Telegraph, but of the day it's been reported by Sky Sports News as well and it is official, United have agreed with Leicester City £80 million pounds for Harry Maguire, I think up to £85 million pounds actually if you could add on I think um, and uh, yeah they've, he's, they've agreed personal terms with Harry Maguire, Leicester uh, have, have, agree, have agreed the fee and obviously this makes Harry Maguire the most expensive defender um, in history, basically, eclipsing the record that um, that was paid for Virgin Van Dijk was seventy five million, um, just like uh, just well, a season a bit ago. So yeah, we've got our signing. Um, I mean, stay tuned to our video tonight, where which which will have a slightly different slant now. Now that it's a, it's a, essentially official. But guys, what do you think? Please like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio and follow us on Twitter and We United X. We're going to put up a Twitter poll showing what you guys think about this signing. Do you think the Harry Maguire is worth 85 million? I think for most of us United fans at this point, we don't really care, to be honest, because it's been so dead, this transfer window, and we needed reinforcements. And if that was the going rate, which I think it was, that was the going rate. Um, it will put a lot of pressure on Harry Maguire. Let's be honest, being the most expensive defender in the world is going to put a lot of pressure. But the one thing that I say, even though... I personally don't think he is worth 85 million, or I accept that's the going rate. One thing I do think that Harry Maguire will give us that a lot of our defenders won't give us is aerial dominance. You know, there's one thing I noticed last season, it was that we we didn't really score many 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 goals from headers, from crosses, from set pieces. We need that aerial dominance. And it's one thing I know that Harry Maguire is good at is that he's good in the air. And if you see him play for England against Netherlands when I think it was Van Dijk and De Ligt in the centre-back. He won the ball in the air against both of them. So I think this is a very, very good signing, guys. This is just going to be a short video because we're going to have much more to discuss on on um, Red Devil Studio Live tonight, half past seven. Stay tuned for that, guys. We'll be talking about transfer news, um, the deadline approaching, what have you. But guys, yeah, there's not really much else to say here, really. It's official. You know, it really, really is, is official, man. This, this guy... You know, he was left out of Leicester City squads to play against uh, Serie Club Atlanta last night, presumably because they're trying to thrash out a deal. Um, and yeah, what can I say? You know, it's, it's you know, obviously I want to wait, you know, to um, officially um, to Manchester United, to put it on their um, face, Facebook, Twitter page, whatever. I want to see him. I don't, I don't call it as, a, as official until we see him in a United kit. Holding up that sign, and when he does that, I will post my welcome, as I'll do welcome to Manchester United, Harry Maguire. That's when I post that put, and we'll we'll talk a bit more about him and what he can add to the team. But just before I give that breaking news, news guys, let me know what you think about it in the comments, guys. Um, what do you think about Harry Maguire as a signing? I'm really, really happy, um, just because hopefully this means um, that we'll. we'll We'll, we'll finish our transfer window on a high note. It'll be good. And, and hopefully this will be one for many of us signs to go. Right now, so far, the only words we he we're hearing is about um, Dybala and potentially Fernandes. And that's something I'm going to discuss about tonight when that to it seems that Tottenham are in the race and could potentially sign Fernandes. Um, and if that's the case, um, I'm honest, we're going to be quite disappointed by that, if I'm honest. Um, we will talk about that later tonight. Um, so, yeah. Harry Maguire, 85 million to Manchester United, more or less confirmed in, in this breaking. It's it's this will really, really solidify defense. And we needed it. We needed it, guys, because of Eric Bayer being injured, with Phil Jones being calamity prone, um, and with Twan CB just lacking a bit of experience. We needed that experienced defender to really solidify defense going to the season. When you now think we have a back four of Wan Bissaka, Lindelof, um, Harry Maguire now and Luke Shaw with David De Gea in goal suddenly, suddenly we, there's a bit more confidence building for this upcoming season um, thanks again for listening guys again short video, please like, share and subscribe to Red Devil Studio, follow us on Twitter at We're United X. have a nice evening guys stay tuned for Red Devil Studio Live and cheers